Also, sorry if I'm like a little quiet because it's like 2 a.m. and everyone else is asleep but me, of course. Yo, what is up, everybody? I am on Here's a few footsteps, freaking thieves walking, can you not? As leading up to the Fruits Basket 2019 reboot. Uh, anime cafes are something that have been around for a long time. I've always wanted to go to them, but I don't freaking go to Japan. Except not like regularly or at all. I went like once. So I decided to take the menu of Fruits Baskets Anime to Collaborative Cafe, translated the menu with the freaking little Japanese I learned in college. I'm still in college. And a lot of you guys really enjoy it. So we will be doing the Boku no Hero Cafe next. These drinks were really fun and really cool to make. They're all all very aesthetically pleasing with the color and each of the colors represent the characters really well and each of them has like some sort of tree in them which I think is really really cool and before we get started I bought a four container piece of these are like beer cups from Target for today's Boku no Hero anime cafe recreating drink video we will start with Deku's drink and for Deku's drink the ingredients you will need are green apple syrup and you can find these syrups on Parani.com next you will need carbonated water vanilla ice cream and strawberry poppings you can smuggle from your local yogurt land or boba shop I'm kidding I paid for them and whipped cream and what you want to do first is put all of your strawberry poppings into the cup put ice on top and you will need one cup of sparkling water and three tablespoons of green apple syrup. Stir your concoction, throw it in the cup, and then put some whipped cream and a small vanilla ice cream scoop on top. This drink was actually really, really good. It's like Sprite, but you taste like the green apple flavor, like a Jolly Rancher. And with the whipped cream and ice cream, it kind of made it taste like a, a root beer flow or like a cream soda. It's sweet. It's cute, it's adorable, just like freaking Deku himself that I love so much. Next drink we will be moving on to is Kachan Bakugo. And the ingredients you will need for Bakugo's drink is orange juice, grenadine syrup, whipped cream, and pop rocks or crackle candy. Which is perfect because freaking explosion, freaking kaboom, like freaking kachan. And the recipe for Bakugo's drink is to have a minimum two tablespoons of grenadine syrup. You want to put the syrup in first so the gradient effect works more effectively. Fill your cup with ice, at least one cup of orange juice, or however much you need to get to the top of the glass. Put some whipped cream on that bad boy and then sprinkle in your pop rocks. You can literally hear the freaking pop rocks. It's insane. The drink looks freaking sick. It's freaking perfect for Bakugo. The drink is orange juice with a nice sweet little kick at the end of it. Beautifully aesthetic, just like our freaking best boy, Deku's best boy, who am I kidding? And I did not think Pop Rocks and orange juice would taste that good together. And our last drink is for the beautiful, innocent Ochako. And the ingredients you will need for her drink are grapefruit syrup, white water, and for this I decided to just use the Kalpikol. It works really well with the syrup to get the color we need for Ochaka's drink. And then you will need cotton candy and star candy. The little tub I used I got from Target at like the Easter Bunny candy section. And you will only need to use the yellow stars. You can use any kind of yellow edible stars. And cotton candy. And I got the Pop Rocks and the cotton candy from that one candy store, it's sugar. And to start off this drink, you're gonna wanna fill it all the way up with ice. Get another cup, fill it with one cup of karabisu and two tablespoons of grapefruit syrup. And then drop it on the ice. And then you're gonna want to carefully add all the pink cotton candy. I didn't think of this before, but I'm an idiot, so of course I didn't. I didn't realize, hey dumbass, if the cotton candy touches the drink or the freaking ice, the cotton candy is going to go away. And I didn't think about that, so I just had to keep adding more and more cotton candy, but just, just be careful. I probably should have left that little room and used it to fill it up with cotton candy, but like I said, I'm an idiot. Put cotton candy, try very carefully to not get it to disappear, and then randomly place your yellow stars on top. And then you have created Olcheka's beautiful, delicious grapefruit drink. That's perfect, and I love it so much. I finished, and I finished that one first. But yeah, that is it for this video. Sorry I only did three just because a lot of these required a lot of stuff. Not that everything was expensive on its own, but you know, I got everything all at once. So, 
didn't want to break the bank that much. But I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know which one you think looks the coolest and that you want to try the most. Thank you so much, love, for all your love and support. It means the world to me. Thank you. Make sure to like this video. Let me know which drink is your favorite and let me know what anime I should do next. And make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my weeb family. I love you very much and I will see you next time. Bye! I still can't forget.